I'm really sorry. It's not Clash of Clans, and it's not a Supercell game. Uh, as you guys know, I I really like This Means War, and I've been playing it for over a over a year now. Really, I've farmed everything um, up to the end of Command Center Nine, and we're now on Command Center Ten. Ta Command Center Ten is out, and it's um, it, you know it's, it's a good upgrade. Really, um, there's there's some upgrades to your um, building, so you get an extra sentry tower, and it goes to, to a level eleven at the moment. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, I mean, all of the, all, all of the defences are upgradable again, and and you get a whole bunch more walls. All these walls that are not level nine, those ones there, that uh, they're all with command center ten. So it gives you, um, I think this is probably the best way to do it, an extra pocket of defence. So remember, this means war is you raid against someone else, and your base has to defend against those other people that you're raiding. It's, it's a really nice concept. I, I really like it. But the most important thing is a Hexium. So Hexium is a brand new um, commodity, really. And you can't um, you can't buy it. You have to raid it, and you raid the case. You get cases when you raid. And I'm going to go raiding in a little bit. Um, I don't even think you get some on the uh, the naval dock. But uh, still, look, I'm just going to finish up those those troops. We're going to go. We're going to go raid. Uh, so we're going to go and raid and see if we can use the new Hexium um, tanks in action because they're really brutal. Uh, now I know that the, uh, the this means war people have put in a cap on the amount of loot you can take. I think it was six hundred thousand of each at one point, and then it kind of I think the community asked for it to be raised, and now it's a million of each, which is actually enough. I, I'm 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 cool. Uh, you know, getting two million resources. I, I can see the reason why they did it. Uh, because clearly you can't... Ah, this is a good base. We're going to raid this base. Because, uh, you know, you, with the new storages, if you can take 20% each raid, uh, I don't want someone stealing 2 million of each from me. So uh, so there's, there's there's three phases in this attack. So one is luring out any, uh, any traps um, and also activating the enemy's def uh, defensive troops. So I'm just going to let them flow down. Uh, I might use some uh, I might use some of my drones just to defend once their drones go, uh, once their drones are gone um, because they're going to come back pretty quickly. Uh, so anyway, so I want to take I want to allow their, their troops to die and then I'm I'm going to have another wave of attack up the left and I'm going to try and demolish the left as much as possible and then they're going to come back because they they're enemy defending troops I'll go to come back. I'm just trying to see whether I can get... Okay, right. Okay. Get all my troops up the side there. So this is kind of the second phase. The first phase is triggering out the troops. And the second phase is the copters plus the drones behind. The drones behind are for taking out those ground troops, as you can see. And now I'm just going to try and cut through those defences. Because pretty soon, you see at the back there, the, the enemy... There we go. There's an exclamation mark. Their enemy defending troops are going to come down. And they're going to destroy my copters. And that's absolutely fine. Um... I'm, I'm expecting that to happen because my my copters, are, uh, my talons, or whatever copters, what we call them, are busy building. Let's just see if I can take uh, over hijack that that uh, ah his hijack has come down. So you can over you can take over uh, you know the, their um, their um, vehicles by using a hijacker. So I only keep one just to act as a distraction. Okay, now so I've put a couple of drones up because I want to just see if I can weaken their attack a little bit. I don't want them to take too much. So you see that Cyclops tank that's coming down there, that big Cyclops tank. So I'm going to take that. So as soon as it attacks, uh, I'm going to, going to take that out. But now is the time for the big attack. So I'm going to t hijack that so it acts as a, a decoy. And then throw in my talons, my, my copters up the left. And I'm this is the main attack now. So I'm going to deploy these new tanks that I've got. In just a second, I just need the wire to get back. There we go. Okay, so let's deploy the Hexium tanks. These things are brutal. They don't care. They're very high hit points, and they are an insane amount of strength. So I'm going for a full three stars on this on this base here. So I've got all my stuff up the left there. Uh, now he's got yeah. So if, as soon as I can take out that uh, spawn point there, the enemy spawn point, I'm absolutely made. There we go. So there's three enemy spawn points. Those Hexium tanks are just going to wipe out the ground, def uh, the ground defenders there. So now all I'm doing is just pushing in uh, copters every time they, they come up and the, hex and the, uh, the drones. So just funnel my troops in because usually people have, have put a lot of defenses at the front, but the backs are really poorly defended. So the only thing you need to worry about is the spawn points, you know, the, where they put an exclamation mark and their enemy defending troops come up. Now I'm just sweeping around the back. I can start. 
worrying about him not taking too, many, too much percentage off me. So I'm going to put a couple of troops down at the bottom there to help defend against those last of his troops. So I don't have a hijacker to be able to take over. There we go. You see that? I've got the, um, the case there. So I've got some more Hexium um, parts to build a Hexium tank with. Uh, right, okay, good. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I've got 43 seconds left. Uh, I'll get my, um, I'll get my troops in there. It's absolutely overpowered him. And that is how you do a three-star or two-star. Right, he got some percentage against me, but total devastation. So here's my Hexium parts. You see down at the bottom there is the parts I've got. Uh, I do need converters. Okay, so let's get that. I've got a win streak bonus now because I'm winning a few in a row. Got two million loot, which is absolutely great. I'm going to upgrade some walls with that, and I'm going to save the blue for my blue is the uh, supplies. I'm going to save that for uh, my defense upgrade, but the what the red, the, uh, whatever it's called, the red stuff. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to build. I got I got enough parts to build a whole tank. Great. Okay, so I'm going to build another tank for next time. There we go. They're, they are brutal, those tanks. And there's also a leaderboard as well. So I'm ranked 2000th on the leaderboard for the number of Hexium tanks I have, which is one. Uh, okay, so what else? Does anybody need any troops donating? Uh, I need Hexium components. I'm not sure if I've got any spare, but we'll have to see. So I'm going to rebuild some troops. I can go raid in about an hour and a half, something like that. Let's have a look. So how long does it take? One hour, 51 minutes. I, I mean, I dip in and dip out in this game. I, I have to say, I love this game. If you guys want to play it, I know it's only on iOS at the moment, although they're going to be porting it to Android. Uh, yeah, drop down it if you, if you guys want to have a play. It's real fun. I mean, this is a max, fairly maxed out base, but even at early stages, it's really great fun. Uh, as far as the alliances go, they've got this great system. So, we're, we're, I mean, we've dropped down a lot now because a lot of people are farming, but we're normally about, second or, uh, about third or fourth. But everybody in the top 100... Uh, 100 alliances gets uh, power cells which like uh, gems so there you go this means war love it if you play it as well if you want to try it out let me know in the comments that'd be fantastic thank you for watching you guys take care bye for now